Own Baiju's 9th, 10th, and 6th to 8th channel. I'm Saurabh, your physics mentor, and today I'm here because it's a very special occasion. Today is a zero shadow day in Bangalore. Now, the word seems very relevant, right? Zero shadow day means there'll be zero shadow, huh? Yes. So today, if you are here, it doesn't matter if you are a kid, if you are a student, if you are a parent, or if you are a teacher, it doesn't matter, right? Because this is for everybody. It's a rare celestial event and we all are here to celebrate it. Our team is outside who will be sharing us the videos live. So, doesn't matter if you're watching us right now or you're watching us later because it's relevant to you. So, everybody, welcome, welcome. Hello. Hey. Yes, Himani, Anushka, R, 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 huh? Anirudh, Sanaya, Richa, hello. Uh, here on 628, Lakshay, Ayan, Vedika. Very good. Nice. So, everybody, today I'm going to tell you Zero Shadow Day, first of all, what exactly is a Zero Shadow Day, right? What is it? This is something we'll understand, okay? Second, why does it occur, right? Why does it occur? Second, uh, who can see it? Who all can see it? Is it like just today people of Bangalore are seeing it and nobody else can see it? No, it's not like that. So today we'll also answer this question, who can see this phenomena, all right? Then, how, oops, how many times in a year you can see this this is the third question we'll be answering today all right and last but not the least i'll have a homework for you i won't call it a homework because you know what uh, homework is for kids but you are not kids anymore right you are science enthusiast you love science you want to explore science right so i would say i would give you a small uh, things to ponder upon right and you can answer it in the in the comment section okay now, everybody, what do you think? Why do we have a zero shadow day? Or what exactly is a zero shadow day? Let's, let's answer this question first. But zero shadow day means the shadow should be zero. Now, what is a zero shadow? Whenever you go outside, right? Whenever you go outside, let's say in the, in the daytime or in the noon, we always assume our shadow should be just beneath our feet. But it doesn't happen. The shadow is somehow tilted, thoda sa idhar, thoda sa udhar. Why? Because sun is not exactly above your head. But in, on the zero shadow day, the sun is exactly above your head. Means all vertical objects, all the vertical objects, matlab, wo objects do ekdam seedhe khade hote hain. You can take a tree, koi pole, you can even take a marker or khada kar do pe, right? You can just do anything. Any vertical object, it will cast no shadow. At what time? 12.17 p.m. in Bangalore means some of you are watching me right now and also testing it out. I'm hoping this. I'm hoping it, right? If you go right now, just take this phone in your hand because you are watching me live. Go outside, take a pen, take a marker, take anything which can stand and try it out. Now it's a little late, it's a little shadow, but you can still watch it. This is called as the zero shadow day, right? Is it? Your shadow is made. Bangalore me? Yes. Very good. Okay. Nice. So this is what we call as the zero shadow day. And kids, at Baiju's, that's how we do it. But Bangalore ki baat ho rahi and our head office is in Bangalore and that's the reason we thought let's do it. Let's tell everybody what exactly is this and why does it happen, right? Like this session if you think it's a great initiative, right? Okay. Nice everybody. Who can see it? And why does it occur? Koi bata sakta hai? Can you even think why does it occur? Sir, Sun is above our head. That's fine. But why? And why is not sun above your head always? By noon time, pe, at 12 p.m., I should expect sun to be above my head. Why is it not? Why is not sun? Come on. Between top. Very good, Sanaya. Nice. I love that answer here. Will it happen in Bihar? Mahi? Someday. I'll tell you when. I'll tell you when. Correct. It worked. Nice, Imani. Very good. No shadow because sun is hidden behind cloud. Oh, okay. Take it. Take it. It's okay. Almost no shadow. Hai na? Correct. Dekho, suno bacho. 
बिफोर वी टेल यू और गिव यू अ वेरी बेसिक रीजन नॉर्मली लोग उसको बोल के खत्म कर देते हैं दैट बिकॉज सन इज अबव योर हेड नो दैट नॉट द एग्जैक्ट रीजन वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ सन मूव अक्रॉस प्लस ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फाइव of degrees of inclination i was i would say in very simple words between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn kitne log ko ye pata hai how many of you know that sun is actually moving from cancer to capricorn and this kind of a thing and if i go even more deeper if i go one level deeper sun is actually not moving earth is rotating lekin earth kya tilted hai right so let's explore this thing pehli cheez shadow kab banega theek hai we all know this because i won't spend time on this because you all know this shadow kab banega because when you need a light source you need an object which is an opaque object and that's how you will see a shadow right so requirement kya hai aapko ek light source chahiye you want an opaque object and then a screen where you can find a shadow yahan par kya hai sun is the light source you or anything which is standing vertical is the object and ground is your screen where you can see the shadow right very good it can vary in size and everything now let's talk about this dekho this is our sun and this is our earth now earth is actually tilted on its axis right hai na we all know this earth is still tilted so let's say if i make this as my equator theek hai let's say i make this as my equator this is my let's say tropic of cancer and this is my tropic of capricorn theek hai this is tropic of cancer this is tropic of Capricorn, okay. Up, everybody, focus and be very attentive for the next one minute because I'm going to explain you how exactly Earth is moving. देखो ध्यान से देखो यार. Right now, Earth is in this position. Fine. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Nice. Can I say that it is more in front of Tropic of Capricorn? By Tropic of Cancer, थोड़ा दूर है ना? If I draw the axis of rotation of the Earth, let's say. एक्सेस रोटेशन कुछ इस तरह का आएगा राइट सो व्हाट वी कैन से वी कैन से दैट सन इज एक्चुअली इन फ्रंट ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन नाउ थिंक अबाउट इट इफ अर्थ दिस इज माय सन राइट दिस इज माय सन एंड दिस इज माय अर्थ राइट अर्थ इज टिल्टेड लाइक दिस इफ दिस अर्थ रोटेट्स एंड गोज हियर राइट नाउ दिस अर्थ इज लाइक दिस ओके फाइन है ना यानी कि Tropic of Capricorn के सामने इज द सन राइट सन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन नाउ इफ दिस अर्थ रोटेट लाइक दिस द सन विल बी अब डैश द सन विल बी अब ईशा कमान हा कमान 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 सन विल बी अब ध्यान से देखो अगर यही अर्थ लेट से ऐसे घूम के उस तरफ चली जाए राइट इफ दिस अर्थ विच इज राइट नाउ हियर इफ दिट Revolves and goes on the other side. Right now, it is tilted like this, है ना? This is my sun. This is tilted like this. It will go over there and it will be tilted in this manner. Means sun will be above tropic of Cancer. Cancer. ठीक है? Right? अब ध्यान से देखो. Now I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you something. Uh, इसको ध्यान से देखना बच्चों. Let me just remove all of these things. हाँ. when this earth will go on the other side it will become something like this this will become my equator this will become my tropic of cancer and this will become my tropic of capricorn kyu bhai earth dusri taraf chala gaya na it is revolving it has gone to the other side abhi kya ho gaya earth is this is tropic of cancer in front of the sun ab isko desi bhasha mein or i would say in very simple words how do we say this Let me just give this to you. How do we say this? हम पता क्या बोलते हैं? We always say this is my Earth, right? This is my equator, right? This is my equator. This is my tropic of Cancer. This is my tropic of Capricorn. Sun is above tropic of Cancer at one time. Then it travels here, and then at one point. इट इज अब ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन तो हम बेसिक लैंग्वेज में यह बोल देते हैं कि भाई अर्थ यहां पर है इफ वी टेक फ्रॉम द फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस ऑफ अर्थ हम अगर अर्थ को अपना एक फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस मान लें या फिर अर्थ को अपना पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मान लें हम बोल सकते हैं कि भाई सन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर पे जाता है और ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन पर जाता है बस इट्स अदर वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट राइट 
ठीक है क्लियर यस ऑल राइट केड्स वी हैव द फर्स्ट वीडियो या या अनिरुद्ध दे माइट बी सम सम प्रॉब्लम एंड राइट नाउ यू कैन ट्वेल्व सेवेंटीन वॉज द टाइम बेटा चलो ठीक है बच्चों लेट्स जस्ट होल्ड दिस फॉर अ सेकेंड एंड लेट मी शो यू द फर्स्ट वीडियो विच वी आर कमिंग विच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड येस हाँ Oh, nice. If you notice, if you notice this shadow right now, the shadow of the bottle is just below its base, right? It means we call it the zero shadow. अगर आपको आपका shadow दिख रहा है, because आपके पैर के बीच में gap है. There you can see your shadow, right? If you look at this bottle right now, the shadow is hidden beneath the base, and that's why we call it the zero shadow. ठीक है? Nice. Everybody, this is from Bangalore, by the way. So people who are in Bangalore are saying you can see the shadow. Something is wrong. Yes. Hello, good afternoon. Nice, very good, Mahi. Uh, Gajala, I'll explain you, bacha. Don't worry. Very good, very good. Achha, sunu, ab sunu, sunu, sunu. Everybody, let's come back. Let's come back. Ah, nice. Let's come back. So, humne kya bola? Let me just. Clarify everything again. Forget about this sun. Forget about this sun. This is my equator. This is my tropic of Cancer, and this is my tropic of Capricorn. Right? Sun is above the tropic of Cancer. Can someone tell me the name of this event? When sun is over tropic of Cancer, what do we call this event? Yes. Namaste. Namaste. What do we call this event? When sun is said to be above tropic of Cancer, इस event को हम क्या बोलते हैं? Arthav, summer solstice. Okay. Solstice, solstice. Very good, very good. Solstice. You're right. Twenty first of June. This is called as the summer solstice, है ना? इसके अंदर we say it is the longest day in the northern hemisphere. उसके बाद क्या होता है सन ट्रेवल करता है नीचे की तरफ है ना सन ट्रेवल्स टूवर्ड्स बॉटम एंड वी से इट इज ओवर ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन एंड दिस माय फ्रेंड इज कॉल्ड एज विंटर सोलिस्टिस राइट ये हो जाता है लगभग ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट और ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट और ट्वेंटी सेकेंड डिसंबर को होता है ये ठीक है इट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डे इन नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फियर ठीक है फाइन और राइट right. अब ध्यान से देखो आई हैव गिवन यू एन आंसर ऑफ वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन अ वे हम ये बोल सकते हैं कि अर्थ ऐसे है सन ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर पे जाता है कैप्रिकॉन पे जाता है कैंसर पे जाता है ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन पे जाता है दिस इज हाउ द सन कीप्स ऑन मूविंग राइट दिस इज हाउ वी कैन इमेजिन इट टू बी रियलिटी में क्या होता है वट हैपन इन रियलिटी अर्थ इज टिलेड सो अर्थ कीप्स ऑन Revolving like this, and sometimes Tropic of Cancer is in direct line of sight of the of the sun, and sometimes it is Tropic of Capricorn which is direct in line. So, हम ये बोल सकते हैं कि भाई, in a way, Earth को ऐसे रखो, बोलो sun ऊपर नीचे जाता है, ठीक है? This is clear. Twenty second is your birthday. Very good, Vishnuvi. Right? है ना? What is summer solstice? बच्चा, summer solstice is the longest day in the northern hemisphere. दिन बहुत लंबा होगा हम बोलते हैं लंबा दिन होता है नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फेयर में और एटलीस्ट इफ यू इन इंडिया यू नो दिस राइट 21 जून को बोलते हैं लॉन्गेस्ट डे होता है 22 दिसंबर को बोलते हैं शॉर्टेस्ट डे होता है राइट अब बीच में ऐसे पॉइंट्स एक बात बताओ एवरीबॉडी लेट मी आस्क आस्क यू समथिंग हाउ मेनी टाइम्स विल द सन बी इन फ्रंट और अबव द इक्वेटर ड्यूरिंग दिस होल टाइम अगर इफ आई कॉल दिस अ टू एंड फ्रो मोशन इफ आई कॉल दिस अ टू एंड फ्रो मोशन How many times will the sun be above equator? Jaldi batao. Sanaya is saying two times. Gajala is saying one. Har uh, Harshan, winter solstice is when the day is the shortest in the northern hemisphere. Two times. Very good. Two times. Exactly. Two times is the correct answer. Hai na? Equator ke saamne bhi to do baar aayega. Kyu? If this is the equator, sun will come in front of equator. Once like this. Once in two. And once in fro motion. Now let me ask you something. I told you that people living between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn can see this zero shadow phenomena. How many times 
can you see this zero shadow phenomena answer this question and my job is done because if you can answer this if you explain if you understand this small small thing i would say i have done a good job agar tumne iska answer sahi diya rich is saying two sanay sanay is saying two one six to eight kids thoda sa galti ho raha hai ha two ek baat batao na see sun is going to and fro hai na so if you choose any any point in between let's say i choose this point okay i choose this point sun while going down ways right downwards it will be in front of this point matlab zero shadow day sun is over the head of this point hai na aap agar yahan par khade ho jao right if you stand like this sun is over your head okay second time when sun is going back towards tropic of cancer right again the sun will be in front of this aapke sar ke upar sun aa jayega so that's why a zero shadow day occurs twice in a year for people living between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn is this clear let me ask you this once in the final time is this clear yes good afternoon everybody ha nice na second time in august is this clear yes harshan it is ibc bangalore near dairy circle if you are in bangalore you know this right clear hai na bas so that's why bachcho zero shadow day occurs twice a year so i showed you one image everybody do you want to see one more video from the outside which we shot just now our team shot just now yes or no come on flood the chat if you are watching us right now flood the chat like this session and subscribe if you are someone new Do you want to see the another video, an interesting video? Yes. Come on. Very good. Let's have the video, please. Oh, sun is just above your head, and then we have this bottle. Nice. You can't see the shadow. This angle is from everywhere, right? 360 degree angle is there, and there is no shadow. Can you play it once again? Sun, ekdam sar ke upar hai. Ekdam sar ke upar hai. अगर आप ध्यान से देखो इस का आपको एक भी शेडो नहीं दिखाई देगा नाइस सो किड्स वी एट बायूज वी बिलीव इन ओवरऑल लर्निंग एंड दैट्स द रीजन वी आर डूइंग दिस सेशन राइट नाउ इट्स अ स्मॉल थिंग राइट बट यू बीइंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ साइंस शुड नो अबाउट दिस बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ यू विल गो आउट एंड शो ऑफ योर नॉलेज एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू इफ यू हैव नॉलेज प्लीज डोंट हेजिटेट इन शोइंग ऑफ टू पीपल है ना Call your friends. बोलो तुमको पता है इसके बारे में I just learned about this. Okay, so go ahead, show your knowledge off, and for that you have to learn. And if you want to learn, you have to stay in touch. How to stay in touch? Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you are someone new, because that's how we do it, right? We make sure your learning is there and up to date, right? And apart from that, we are covering and up to everything, right? We are teaching you everything, and you get the schedule every day. Go ahead and see it. Right so everybody zero shadow day i would say happy zero shadow day and you know what everybody who is living tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn means if you are in india just google it zero shadow day in bihar zero shadow day in odisha right you will get the dates because you will also see it depending if clouds are not there okay go ahead yaar internet is out there every knowledge is out there we just have to look for the right knowledge right and for that you have to look and you have to look in the right direction so come on i'm just giving you a direction go out and look all right so everybody i would say wish you a very happy zero shadow day enjoy this phenomena now you understand why it happens when it happens and how many time it happens right i hope it's clear to you if you think like and share and subscribe see you next time take care bye bye